you're a gouache painter and you're looking for ideas for a gift, maybe it's your birthday or it's Christmas, or maybe you have a gouache painter around you and you don't know what would be useful, what would be helpful, because for a change, you could get the perfect gift for your gouache painter. I'm an artist for several years and let me tell you, I have a bunch of art supplies. And this, for example, is a gift that my husband gave me when he were somewhere I don't remember. That's so nice of him, but actually it's colored pencils. I already have three boxes of it and these are not great quality, not the one I'm expecting to work with. He was just being nice to me and I appreciate it, but I would have loved him to get the perfect gift for me. Bonjour, I'm Cécile, a French artist, and my mission is to help you becoming a better gouache painter. And in this video, I will give you some ideas if you want to get the perfect gift for a gouache painter. And as I want to be as helpful as possible, you have three different budgets. And if you want to get those gifts, you have a link for each budget under the video here. And you're welcome to click on it. And if you do so, I will get a tiny commission. So I can buy more art supplies. See the trick here? But it's for my job. So I have a good reason to buy more art supplies so I can make more product reviews and have fun. So in every set, I have included the same airtight palette because you need it. There is no way you can work with gouache without it. And a sprayer, a small sprayer, maybe you have already one, but those two are common to the three sets. So I will talk about it just once. So the airtight palette, I know some people just think it's useless. Personally, when I squeeze gouache from a tube, I always squeeze too much. And when I'm done painting, I have leftover blobs of paint on my palette. And if you let it dry, you can still reuse it, of course, but it will be more like watercolor. You won't be able to get back the creamy consistency of it. So this is why I am squeezing my paint in this airtight palette. So it's always creamy and fresh and I can use it over and over again. And when the paint is finished, I just squeeze some more inside. Okay, it gets messy, but I'm a messy artist, so there's no problem for that. So this is why I've included this in each of the sets, but you're welcome not to use it, but don't tell me you're wasting paint then. This is maybe the most useful tool you can get for gouache. Believe me, if you are painting a lot, you need this to spray your palette. Either you're using a regular palette or an airtight palette, at some point you'll have to squeeze your paint because it's drying. Um, just the ambient air is enough to get the gouache to dry. And if you want to keep it fresh and easy to maneuver to get the pigments flow everywhere, you need to spray it from time to time. So I've added one in the set, but if you already have one, that's fine. So for this first set, I have included Hemi gouache paint. I have kind of a love and hate relationship with Hemi. It's mm, not my favorite, but I know a ton of people are using it, loving it and making a lot of things with it. And actually you can paint with Hemi gouache. It's just that blending is not very easy. So depending on your style, you could get a set of Hemi and don't get fooled by the price because it might look pricey, but you have 18 colors in large buckets almost. <laughs> so you have a really huge quantity of gouache paint. And if you store it in the fridge, you will get it fresh for a long time. Just spray it from time to time. For this set, I have chosen a sketchbook that I have not used. Let me be honest with you. Try to find the best one for the lowest price. I mean, uh, 200 GSM, uh, enough pages. And this one is really, uh, I think, a good bet for the price. Brushes. As I said in this video, you don't need a ton of them. You need uh, flat brushes and I'm really using almost only flat brushes, uh, large, medium and small. 
and two round, one large, one small. Basically, that's it. And I have a brand I love, but it's a French one, and I'm afraid it's a bit difficult to find abroad. So I have chosen for you a different set that is uh, less expensive and that comes with just what you need to paint with gouache. Um, I think that brush is not the most important thing in gouache. The most important thing is first the paint, obviously, and second, the paper, and three, the brushes. So this is like, there's no big deal in taking a small set, very cheap one. You could even get some school brushes that would do the job as well. This set is really what you need if you want to be serious about gouache because Himi is okay, but if you really want to go farther and get excellent results, you need artist quality paint. And there are a lot of brands out there, but this one is really highly pigmented. It's very creamy, it's very soft, and I really love working with it with a very, very tiny amount of paint. You can go a long way. The only thing is you need to buy an extra tube of white because white is the color you will need the most. I've been testing this paint already and you can watch the video somewhere, maybe here, yes and you can see what you can do with it. This is the one I use on a daily basis. I really, really love it. Is this video helpful? Mm, pop the like button so everyone can see it. And Google knows that this is a good video. Mm. Merci. When it comes to sketchbooks, there are several things that I'm looking at. Is it really, um, opening flat, and I mean it, you know, really, really flat. You won't be able to make the focus I have to. Yes, it is opening flat. This is really important when you are working in a sketchbook, especially if you want to work across two pages. And also for gouache, I like to have at minimum 200 GSM and best 300 GSM and not too much texture, too much texture. Yeah, difficult to say. If you want to go into details with cold press watercolor paper, for example, you will have trouble because the bumps in the paper will be kind in the middle when you are painting with it. So this one is really the one I love. I have already filled maybe four or five of this particular one, it's a Stillman and Burn, and I really love it. And I especially love the square one. Don't ask me why, but you're welcome to choose another size if you want. And still in the Holbein family, you have this set here of 12 colors that I don't have yet. But uh, when I said my family I was making this video, they told me, oh, okay, so you will be using only the things you already have. Um, I said, no, I will include something that I don't have yet. So they can watch this video and get me the perfect gift. Thank you. So this one is a 12 color set. I know you can do everything you need with just five primaries, but if you paint a lot like I do, it's quite easier to get ready-made colors. So you don't have to uh, spend too much time mixing and also you're sure to get always the same color. And the accuracy of color is one of the gouache um, weaknesses because you will never be able to get the exact same mix if you do it in different days. So this is a good way to have more colors and more fun. So for this set, I have chosen a large sketchbook because you have a ton of paint, so you have to fill large pages. And this one is really great. I love it. It's a Strathmore. It's 300 GSM. It's watercolor paper. And we have a soft texture, but not too much. And you can do a lot of things inside. You can use it for gouache or watercolor as well. And of course, it's a large one, so you can get a smaller one if you prefer. If you think maybe it's a bit overwhelming to have a large sketchbook like this one. For the brushes, I'm using those one by Etcher. They are meant especially for gouache and they come in a handy little pouch where you can go plein air with it because you have the spaces to put inside like this. So 
when I'm in the studio, I don't really need it. And you have everything you need, really. It's uh, flat brushes, small brushes, large one. And this one is kind of big, it's a size 12, but the tip is really, really pointy and you can really make a lot of details with it. I love it. It's a bit pricey, I know, but they are really great. They clean easily and they don't bend when you let them in a jar, even if you really should not do that at all. Mm, have you seen that in the background? The sun is really cool. Yeah, so not the point today. Um, what else? I was thinking about, oh yeah, I know what. Maybe you have already all those supplies or you're ready to buy them and now you need to use them. And of course, I had to talk about my membership. This is a perfect gift for a gouache painter because we will work mainly with gouache and also watercolor. And if you don't have watercolor, you can still use your gouache as watercolor. You still with me? And my membership is now open, so you can join. You have a link in the description below. And this is really the perfect way to learn a lot with gouache, but also with drawing, composition, and finding your own voice, express yourself, because technique is one thing, but being able to express what you have on your mind is another thing. So I let you click on the link below and you will get all the details about the membership. That could be a good idea. What do you think? And now that you have all you need, you can go and watch this video where I talk about my membership.